All right, guys, I get this question all the time. If I'm gonna buy a knife for archery season, which one of the knives of your guys' should I buy? Well, that's a great question. It can be a hard thing to kind of figure out, especially for a newer hunter. I'm always gonna go to the Blackfoot first. The Blackfoot knife is what I launched our company on. This knife was named after the Blackfoot River Valley that I hunted in. I grew up in that. I fished, I hunted big game, elk, deer, bear. Um, it's, it's about, you can do about everything with this knife. The great thing about the Blackfoot knife is you can do a lot of different tasks with it. You can cape with it with a nice fine tip. You can also skin with it. It's big enough to actually use on a moose or an elk, but it's also small enough to just carry while you're fly fishing, doing any of that kind of stuff. The Blackfoot knife is a knife that I, I, I honestly feel like it's really the only blade that you need to take in the field. It's got a hard handle on it. It's a full tang construction. It is tough. It's definitely not a pry bar. You know, so if you're taking elk ivories out and you're prying up underneath those teeth, learn how to do that. Cut down along the gum line. Use the back of the handle to pop those out or, or a stick or something like that. But beyond that, this little knife's a workhorse. Blackfoot and all of our knives actually come with these sheaths as well that have these clips that actually clip over your pack strap. They clip over your belt. Um, they clip over your bino harness. And quite frankly, they can also be just taken off if you wanna just tuck your knife in your bino harness or in your pack. These blades also snap into position, so you're never gonna lose that knife. I love carrying my knife accessible. So to me, the sheath is almost just as important as the knife itself. All right, so the second knife that I would suggest to you guys for archery season, if it's not a Blackfoot, to me it's a speed goat. And really all of this comes down to a couple questions you have to ask yourself in the field first. What are you hunting? What kind of, what kind of work are you gonna be putting this knife through? How many days are you going to be out? Things like that are really, really important. You know, if you're looking to do bushcraft or some, some kind of like bunch of wood chopping, then obviously you're gonna need a little bit bigger knife. But when I envision an archery hunter, I envision someone who's putting a pack on, who's spotting stocking, maybe sitting in a tree stand for elk or deer, uh, but they're generally gonna be doing something where when they take that animal down, they're gonna need to break that animal down and pack it out. And you're gonna want a knife that isn't too heavy to carry. And that's why I love the Speed Goat. If you're an ounce counter and you're cutting the handle off your toothbrush or you're worried about ounces, the Speed Goat is the knife for you. This knife only weighs 1.4 ounces. It's wrapped in 550 paracord, which means that paracord is tested to 550 pounds of strength, which quite frankly, can do about double that at least. Uh, what's also cool about that paracord is you can actually take all this cord off of this handle and use it. There's about seven feet of cord on this handle that you can use for tying packs up or tying up your meat in your packs or even hanging meat in trees, fixing a boot lace. Just think about it. If you're two or three day hike from your truck and a boot lace breaks, how uncomfortable that can be. So that paracord, frankly, also can be used for things like guying out your tent or tying up a drawstring on a pack that's broken. So the Speed Goat blade is extremely versatile. Just like the Blackfoot, it's got a tip on it that you can use for caping. It all, you can also skin with it. You can break down an elk, a deer, a turkey, or go fishing with this blade. Like our Blackfoot, it also comes with the sheath that's the most versatile sheath in the entire hunting industry. This clip can be taken off. It can be rotated. You can clip it just like the Blackfoot, Blackfoot on any part of your body, straps, packs, or frankly, you can take it off and go super light with just the Speed Goat and the, the sheath housing itself. My number one and two pick for archery season, Blackfoot first, because I like a hard handle, and the Speed Goat, because both of those blades are light and useful. All right, third on my list of knives that I would use during archery season is our Stonewall. This knife I came out with because it covers a few things that our Blackfoot and our Speed Goat really don't. This is more specialized for those of you that like a skinning blade. All this belly right here is fantastic for skinning. Get nice long stroke, you can cover a lot of square inches of, of, uh, of hide and, and hair with this, with this edge on this blade. I also made this tip kind of come away instead of going in. So when you're on that hide, you have less of a chance of poking through the hide and cut holes in the, in the hide of the animal that you're skinning out. 
This blade is also thicker by about 25 thousandths than our Blackfoot and about 30 thousandths from our Speed Goat. That gives it more durability. It is a little bit stronger. You can do a little bit more prying with that. And it also has a larger handle. And quite honestly, I left the guard off of this one. So those of you with really, really big hands can kind of overflow on both ends of that handle if you've just got giant grizzly bear paws for hands. This blade, a lot of people really like just because it's a little bigger, it's a more, more substantial. I feel like they need a little bit more knife and it also has a lot more belly and less of a point. I will say we've had a lot of people cape out animals with this, with this stone wall. You, you choke up on it and use that tip and you can still get in there. It's just not quite as much tip and not quite as handy with the geometry of the way this is designed as our Blackfoot or our Speed Goat. But the stone wall, absolutely my third choice for archery season, but if it's your number one choice, it's a great one.